Criteria for a diagnosis of MS In order to make a diagnosis of MS, the physician must find evidence of damage in at least two separate areas of the central nervous system, or CNS, which include the brain, spinal cord, and optic nerves, and find evidence that the damage occurred at least one month apart and rule out all other possible diagnoses. The revised McDonald criteria, published in 2010 by the International Panel on the Diagnosis of Multiple Sclerosis, includes specific guidelines for using MRI, Visual Evoked Potentials, or VEP, and Cerebrospinal Fluid Analysis to speed the diagnostic process. How Doctors Diagnose MS Your doctor is likely to start with a thorough medical history and examination. Your doctor may recommend blood tests to help rule out other diseases with symptoms similar to MS, lumbar puncture, or spinal tap, in which a small sample of fluid is removed from your spinal canal for laboratory analysis. This sample can show abnormalities in antibodies and to rule out infections and other conditions with symptoms similar to MS. MRI, which can reveal areas of MS or lesions on your brain and spinal cord, Evoked potential tests, which record the electrical signals produced by your nervous system in response to stimuli. MRI is used for relapsing, remitting MS.